Hallow's Eve and it snowed. Yes, I kid you not. This is not 2011 where on Halloween it did snow. It's Hallow's Eve, the eve of Halloween, and it snowed. Now, you don't see the snow on the ground now. It all melted. However, from about well, early in the morning, probably 4, 5, 6, 7 in the morning to about 1 to 2 p.m., it was relatively consistent with the snow and it all melted. Now, we're still in fall. However, the snow's that's melted is now going to make it cold for the next couple of days. Halloween is going to be a, uh, a cold one. And uh, full moon on Halloween. A red, I think it's a red moon, too, for the first time since, like, 1944. I'm looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to the 20-degree temperatures. I'm not ready for that yet. I'm never ready for it, actually. <laughs> I just want San Diego beach weather for 365 to 366 days. I'm not asking for too much here. In New Hampshire, I'm probably asking for too much. Just level with me here, will you? Uh, Halloween to, uh, on Saturday, and then we got to turn the clocks back for daylight savings time on uh, Sunday, and then we're on November 1st on Sunday, and which means we're inching closer and closer to the end of this year. I can't wait, because I'm going to say the end, and may I say, thank goodness. I won't be saying that, though, until December 31st. I will say this, though, it's been a lot of fun doing this, J-Dog's uh, Daily Dose, and I'm still going to continue to do it, all the way until December 31st, 2020. And uh, have a great rest of the weekend. I will talk to you on Halloween when I'm going to talk to you about candy and movies. Not popcorn, candy. Candy and movies. Those are the uh, two Halloween things that go, go together quite well. Popcorn goes well with anything. Looks at maybe lobster. Uh, that's another story for another day. All right, I will talk to you on Halloween. See you then.